So, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Defiance with uh, Arrow 73. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Let's, uh, get moving. Uh, I have nothing else really to say here at the moment. I haven't got any comments about my uh, last let's play or anything. So, uh, I'm guessing everything is good then. Uh, so, as you remember from the last episode, we were uh, helping the e reps securing some, uh, some medical supplies. And uh, I also believe we uh, helped getting some radio communication going. So, yeah, now it's time to uh, get uh, uh, antennas working again. So, let's just see. So, yeah, our inventory looks good. Yeah. So, uh, let's roll. I have seen on my earlier videos, I have a lot of views, but strangely enough, uh, a small amount of comments. Uh, I don't know how to put this, but uh, uh, please give me some ideas. If it's something you want me to do or you want me to see, uh, I mean you want to see give me a hint and uh, I'll see what I can come up with it might not be in the straight away in the next episode uh, but uh, yeah I promise I will write it down so I remember and uh, see what we can do in the future Right, so that's the radio station, and uh, yeah, that's the antenna. So, ah, someone is shooting at me, bastard! Scraping my paint job. Ah, uh, this is not really an off-road car. Okay, this could be a problem. I don't want to shoot the big guy just yet. There we go. Ouch. go, that's one of them. Ah. 
Ouch. There we go. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, uh, it might not happen straight away, but uh, yeah, hopefully in the near future. Brand said the radio signal reaches here, but not beyond the station. You'll need to reboot those Ooh. antennas while I do my thing and get it synced here. The antenna locations on our map, so let's get them rebooted. After the arc fall, long distance communication got all foobard. The Tempest Sphere wreaks havoc on any electronic signals. I believe I just missed that. What the hell? Alright, let's uh, get things started here. So, uh, uh, I'll let them do the killing and uh, I just reboot on 10 right here. There we go. And the small light show. Oh, nice small addition they have added to uh, to the game. Wasn't like that in the beta, but yeah, well. Let's say uh, it's a lot about the small things in this game that actually make it as good as it is. And let's try to stay on the road, shall we? Hey! I'm not staying around for this. Grenade! Hold on. Ah, 
if I if uh, my memory serves me right, this is actually a pretty hard quest. So uh, yeah, don't be too upset if I die here. Oh yeah, that's how it's done. These guys tend to hurt because of their weaponry. That's why I'm keeping them at a distance. Uh... Oh, thank you. Right, so. Uh... Well, that's the easy part. Now uh, comes the hard part. And uh, I'm actually not sure I will uh, make this uh, because uh, I had different weaponry with Aram when I did this quest. There's an antenna. I can patch into its terminal to get it back online. So. And I'm not really sure if I'm actually talking about the same quest right now. There we go. That's one of them. And I missed. There we go. Yeah, there he is. dying
What the hell? There we go. Yeah, I was actually talking about a different quest now. I was, uh... Uh... Yeah. Uh, well, let's say uh, there is a similar quest uh, a bit further along the storyline, and uh, it has a boss on it. And uh, after all this is sorted, I'm going to the crater bar, tipping back a bottle, and getting sloshed off my ass. <laughs> really like that gun. Uh So our lost objective. Well, uh this boss I was talking about, he have a really weak shield and armor, but insane fast uh, recharge. So um Uh, it's almost impossible to actually kill him alone because you will need uh, a lot of uh, sustained fire at him because uh, well, if he, his uh, shield recharges it's all over again And uh, yeah, that's what makes him hard. So uh, I actually uh, had an infector gun. It's called. I came here to do a little digging into Project Tranquility's past. I did not expect to see a strato carrier crashing into the damn hillside. <laughs> I don't think many actually expected that. Well. Like I said, uh, so uh, uh, the infector actually was the one that kept his shield from uh, recharging. It, I get the general idea. It works like uh, ego shield. If you stop taking damage for a certain amount of time, you recharge your shield and uh, you have a full shield again. And uh, after that, your health regens during time well this boss is uh, uh, in the same way and uh, uh, there we go want at least one kill Uh, yeah, uh... The antenna's inside. Get us to the terminal at the base so I can get it up and on the Out grenade. Jesus Christ, this guy means business. Yeah, that suck. He he was actually watching that guy and shot me. So uh, yeah, that. That's one of the annoying things you guys should uh, get sorted. Um, 
yeah, so there's balls. It's fun. It's uh, actually really fun. That's it. The antennas are online and responding. And, uh, and let him know that his favorite arc hunters have once again drop kicked some major ass. <laughs> Uh, right. Ooh, finally. That's a fast firing gun, but it's one of the few that's actually good. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, actually going to equip it. Uh, Increased rate of fire and recoil increased damage potential, but also skill required. So, uh, yeah. I will probably do a crap job with it in the beginning, but once my skill actually get up with it, uh, it's actually quite a good gun. Uh, I believe I had this one with Aaron for uh, quite some time actually. Um, yeah, as you can see, it kicks like ass. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> oh. uh. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a uh, it's a really fun boss. Uh, hard and uh, yeah. So, uh, but like I said, you need a you need an infector gun to actually uh, kill it, or uh, well, you alone will pr most likely not have uh, enough firepower to. Uh, kill him on your own uh. Uh. so um, yeah and in the beginning of the game I'm guessing you all heard that uh, uh, different weapons have its purpose or something like that she said and uh, well so far I haven't found a single purpose for the gun <laughs> yeah uh, well Maybe when I come to think of it, it could be good in uh, close quarters. Ah, just received a rank in driving. That's a good thing. Uh, I'm guessing uh, it means I'm driving even worse now. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, There we go. Yeah, I know there are fast travels and such, but I really A bunch of distress calls are coming in from the kinship neighborhood. I really like driving and uh it's also the main skill why uh, uh, the main reason I mean why I have uh, level nine driving on uh, Arrow. So, uh, yeah. Oh. Well, uh, I think this is a good wrapping up point now. Uh, I believe our next mission will be, uh, yeah, down here. And, uh, I actually can't remember what mission that is. Oh, there we go. Uh, the Old Republic uh, rescue you. Ah, right. It's a search and rescue mission, basically. Uh, it's a two-parter. 
first part is uh, relatively easy. Uh, kill some mobs, find a rescue beacon they dropped, and uh, move on to a different area and uh, kill uh, lots and lots of uh, mobs. With uh, well, some of them actually have uh, ego power, like blur. So uh, yeah, it's a hard mission. Uh, yeah, that I really want to actually <laughs> say this, and I hope uh, there are some one in the dev team actually following this these recordings. Uh, the missions in this game is perfect. Uh, they are hard, but not too hard, and they are extremely fun to actually do. Uh, I did the last boss yesterday with uh, Aaron, and uh, yeah, I died a lot. And uh, even after I died, died a lot, I died a lot more. But it's not impossible. Uh, it's all about what kind of weapons you have and uh, what kind of approach you have to uh, the bosses. And uh, uh, a friend of mine actually asked me how I actually killed that boss because, uh, well, he's like 500 ego levels higher than me, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, no wait, oh Jesus Christ, it's too early here for me to actually do any calculations. Uh, he's more like uh, 300 higher than me. And he has still not actually managed to kill the boss. So I asked him what kind of weapons he had and uh, he was using a heavy machine gun and a grenade launcher. And try to hit a boss that has blur, teleportation, and uh, yeah, you name it. All kinds of, uh, in my eyes, magical powers. Try to hit him with a uh, with a gun that literally kicks like like a damn horse, shooting everywhere. Uh, it's not possible. Uh, what I did was. Uh, I was using actually a low uh, damage weapon, uh, mostly used for healing. Actually, uh, you have uh, you have two mods on it. Uh, you can heal uh, members, uh, I mean friendly units, or uh, you can damage enemies with it. Uh, basically, uh, just pointing the hold down the mouse button, and you don't really need to aim with it. Uh, it uh, searches I believe an area of 19 degrees in front of you. If anything is there it locks to it and uh, does damage. Uh, yeah there are s some rules about it. For example if you aim over the head of the boss it actually connects to the closest part of the boss. So uh, I always aim over him, and uh, at least I tried, and uh, uh, that way I, it locked to the head, and I was doing critical damage all the time. Really easy. Uh, it's a free part boss. First time you uh, um, fight him alone. Uh, second phase, uh, it's him and. Uh, uh, his uh, well, clones, as I would call them. That actually is the hardest part. Uh, trying to figure out who he really is, because you can kill his clones really easy, but uh, overall, uh, you don't actually do any damage to uh, to his health bar just by uh, shooting his uh, clones. So, you actually need to aim for him. Um, well, when that time comes, I will probably be... Uh, well, it's all up to you guys. If you want a very long movie, 
seeing me killing that boss uh, it will most likely be way over an hour long that's how long the fight actually will be and uh, unless I cut it down some uh, we'll see uh, well I can actually manage the boss and uh, well like I said maybe cut it down a bit no need for you guys to see me die like a gazillion times before I kill him uh, so uh, yeah well uh, it's it's a, a long way there but if you uh, just comment let me know what you want and uh, I'll see what I can do but, uh, like I said uh, time for uh, wrapping up the point so uh, thank you for watching and uh, please like subscribe and uh, comment and uh, I see what I can do take care